guys, back again with some more tech tips. Wanting to show you the knot that I use to tie braid to fluorocarbon, the Crazy Alberto knot. But before we talk about the knot and show you how to do it, let's talk about the importance of using braid with fluorocarbon. The first benefit that comes to mind when using braid is the sensitivity. You can literally feel everything that's going on under the water. You know when a fish bites, you know when you're crawling across gravel, a rock, sand, you can feel it all. So being able to have that combined with fluorocarbon so you have the strength of braid and to be invisible with the fluorocarbon, it's a deadly combination. Another benefit is how many times have you been out on the lake and you went to cast your spinning rod and nearly half of your line just spooled off the reel with that cast. I've done it, and I'm sure you have too, and it's annoying. But with braid, you're not gonna run into that so much. The cool thing about braid is it doesn't get wind knots quite as easily as fluorocarbon mono. I can't tell you the last time that I had a wind knot using braid. Now you'll get them occasionally, especially the longer you keep it on there, but you're not gonna have near as many problems using that braid. So it increases your efficiency on the water. Another great aspect with braid is you can cast it a mile. I know I can put 15 pound braid on my spinning rod. I know guys go all the way down to like eight pound and you can literally fire that, I mean, small baits, little jig heads, light finesse baits and cast them a mile with that braid. So you're really increasing your distance of casting with the use of braid. And let's be honest, it's cheaper to use braid on your reels and then only use a little bit of fluorocarbon. I know I hear a lot of guys tell me, you know, I wanna use fluorocarbon, but it's so expensive. And I hear you. I started fishing, I didn't wanna buy fluorocarbon either. But now you can use braid to back your reel and literally 90% of it be braid and you put an eight foot leader on and that eight foot leader could last you the day or a couple days and you're only putting on a leader at a time. So, you can keep that braid on for months on one reel and you can use one pack of fluorocarbon for probably the whole year depending on how much you fish and you know you're saving money that way so now you guys know the benefits of braid let's get started and show you how to tie the crazy alberta knot okay first off you start with your fluorocarbon and for my braid i'm using 15 pound spider wire ultra cast braid and what you're going to do is start off with your fluorocarbon get you about six or eight inches and you're going to take and fold that over into a loop. You want to make sure you leave yourself enough tag in there to work with. Next, you're going to grab your braid in the other hand. Okay. And you're going to take this and you're going to put it through that loop and feed it through another six or eight inches. Again, leaving yourself enough room to work with. Okay, so now you have that. You're going to take your what you just fed through on the braid and you're going to wrap it down the fluorocarbon seven times. Okay, so you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six seven times okay Can you see that there that seven times now this is where the tricky part comes in you got to wrap it back across you got to wrap it back up seven times and you want to try to cross hatch each one of those overlaps that you've done down you want to do that back up across them and what I'll do is I'll take my left hand and start pinching each one back up. And for your seventh one, you're going to come back up through the last hole that is made. Okay, so the last hole between your braid and your fluorocarbon, you're going to punch your braid through there. Pull it out the other side. And that's what you have. And now the next important thing is to make sure you lubricate this really well. Okay, and I use, I'll just put my mouth on it and wet it down really good. And now 
you're just going to make sure that all that fold, folds together when you start pulling it down tight. You watch that braid and fluorocarbon and see if they bunch up. And I'm pretty sure that one didn't. Wipe some of that off. Now you can see how tight packed that is. That knot doesn't have anything sticking out of it. You know, a lot of times you'll have the braid or the fluorocarbon popping out one end or the other that didn't cinch down right. And usually that'll break when you try to test that knot. And I'll give it a couple of jerks to test it. But I can tell you right now that's a knot that I'll trust is going to hold. And now all you need to do is take and snip these tag ends off. And I like to leave just a little bit. I don't, you know, you got to be careful that you're not putting that, uh, the scissor blades uh, next to that knot. You don't want to nick that knot. So I'll leave just a little bit of distance between both ends. There you go. You got yourself a crazy Alberto knot. So now you guys know how to tie this knot. Take it, practice it, get comfortable with it, and take it out on the water. Don't be afraid to set the hook on them fish. I have the utmost confidence in this knot, and I've used it for days on places like Lake Erie, rivers, you name it, where I've boat flipped three, four pound smallmouth, and I don't retie because I just don't have the time and I'm practicing, you know? It took me a while to get confidence in this knot, and it just took time for me to get used to it, but once you're used to it, trust me, you're gonna love using braid to fluorocarbon. So now you guys know the benefit. <laughs> I do this. <laughs> so now you guys know it. All right. There's so many great. Frickin' fly.